All right, welcome back to Board Reviews. I don't know if I can get this one. Laurel here. Comedy duo. Laurel and... Skiabo. <laughs> Hardy. Laurel and Hardy. <laughs> Never heard of those in my life. Yeah, deep cut. And we are going to react to something that's been requested a while ago. We were watching a Mickey Flanagan video and he mentioned a show on the buses. Whereas he would mm. say, on the buses. And, oh, pretty good. <laughs> as I say so myself. And so we're going to check out Christmas Duty from 1970. Um, I'm not going to make the lame joke. And it says in color. So it tells you that this show's probably been, old. Little old. been around for a while. Little I mean, 1970, that's what? That's 54 years ago this year. It's crazy. We're going to check this out in two parts. This is the first part, obviously, then come back tomorrow for the second part. We know nothing about this show, just that he really enjoyed watching it. And a bunch of people on that be like, oh, yeah, you guys should check it out. You guys should check it out. So because we're checking out something called On the Buses, I'm wearing a hat and shirt that I would definitely wear on a bus. I would wear this on the bus. I thought you were going to make fun of me. I wear anything on a bus. <laughs> yes, I like them. <laughs> so, if you like our reaction to this, please don't forget to... Like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you can be aware of your next upload video. I keep looking at your phone and thinking it's mine because it's the mint green color. Yep, got the new phone. Hopefully the video phone. quality is just a little bit better. Who knows? Um, you got my old mint green color and I got a new pretty pink. It's so pretty. Yes, very pretty. Now, if there's certain episodes you want us to check out, if we can find it, please let us know. I hope this is not one of those things where it's like we are completely lost the entire time. We're going to give it a chance. I'm going to test it out. Miss France. Here we schmo. Okay. This definitely takes me back. I'm Arthur. That was Olive. Oh, that's definitely the Jack. Oh, that is a lousy journey, mate. We're seven minutes late. Oh, not too bad, considering we stopped three times to pick out my shopping. Yeah, we'll bang it out then. Right, this is all here. It's yours, mate. Excellent, that's yours, yeah. too. Here we... Oh. What's that thing doing in your cabin? Well, blimey, it's Christmas Eve. I mean, we've got to stop to pick up our stuff, haven't we? You know the regulations. You shouldn't have a single parcel in that cab, will you? I ain't got a single one. I've got three single ones. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see, I've got my own here. Yeah. You can't take... You can't take liberties just because it's the holiday like that. You, how dare you have that stuff in the cab, will you? It's not right. Well, don't blame us, mate. Blame the passengers. Eh? Hey? Well, there were so many of them on the bus, there wasn't no room for our shopping. Yeah, hang about, I've got an idea. Hold that, sir. Yeah, that's yeah. yeah. me a bit of mistletoe. What are you, oh, what you doing over there by the ladies' loo? Ah, well... <laughs> <laughs> I saw uh, Joyce and Edna go in there when we drove up. We missed them on the way in, but we'll catch them on the way out, though. <laughs> <laughs> Lecherous lay about you, honestly. <laughs> Can't you leave them two girls alone? No. no. Fancy screwing that hook <laughs> no. above the door like that, look. We didn't screw the hook above the door, they did. Here, hold that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Look at that. Look at that. They don't even know who's missing, so. <laughs> well, what's wrong, mate? It says reserve for staff. <laughs> and we're staff. They don't seem yeah, to mind. Yeah, cheeky devil. Look, you've no. got to turn your machine on. You run up a shilling return. Oh, <laughs> blimey. Come on, then. <laughs> what do you think you're doing, old Latorbius? <laughs> He's getting his return off. Oh, you are awful. <laughs> See you then. Come on, See you later, Christmas, Merry darling. Christmas, Merry Christmas, darling. Merry Christmas, darling. Merry Christmas. Okay, now, I know this is a comedy. I'm not going to do this, but I'm just saying, could you imagine if someone was to do that today? Like, could you, I, could you, it would be like on the news, it would be this or that, especially if they were somewhat famous. Like, this is crazy. Rose and crown, then. I'm not having no more of this. So this tall. mistletoe's coming down out of it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's better. It's better. You're waiting for me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, lovely, 
For. Yeah, well, perhaps his moustache is tickling her. <laughs> well, fair's fair, perhaps her moustache is tickling him. Too. Oh. <laughs> but Merry Christmas, Merry yeah, Christmas, Jack, Merry Christmas, Taz. Yeah. Oh, I've just about enough of this. All this snobbing <laughs> about the place and all this mistletoe and all them parcels in your bus. I'm going to make our complete report about oh, this. Oh, Don't be a spy. Oh, Blake, you what's the matter? Mate, look, it's Christmas Eve, isn't it? I mean, Christmas only comes once a year. It may be Christmas for you, mate, but it's not for me. I'm still on duty. All right, give us a kiss then. <laughs> <laughs> now, fair dues, Blakey. I mean, we are next on the road, and we shall be on duty next Christmas morning. Next Christmas morning? I'll be on here tomorrow morning, mate, sitting here all on my own, waiting for a few buses to go out. What are you going to do? Serve out the new tea for the lads? <laughs> Leave that alone. <laughs> That's my old mum's present, that is. Oh, yeah. That's an hand painted teapot with a non drip spout. That's what she's always wanted, that is. <laughs> Very pretty, that is. I'll tell you yeah. what you ought to have bought for your nephew, though. Right. One of these here I've got here. What's that? This is a little self controlled bus, and I'm good, Blake. Look at this, look. Oh, that's yeah. nice, isn't it? Oh, that's I've got good, one of my little nephew. Does it go? Of course it does. Look, I've got lots of little busmen to go with it. Look, look. There's a little inspector. <laughs> oh, look at that. Look. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> It's sweet, isn't it? I mean, and half like you, Blake, isn't it? There's even a seam round his neck where they stuck his head on. <laughs> Shut up. Come on, show us how this thing right. works. Come on. You put it there like that, mate. There's your control. Press yeah. the button and it goes forward. Go Watch on, this. Then. Watch it. Oh, blind. <laughs> Typical, isn't it, eh? <laughs> you never did know which way you was going. No, no, I pressed the wrong button. I'm sorry, I pressed the wrong button. There's a little request stop there. I'll put that there. Now, see if it can stop there. Well, yeah, if you does, it'll off. be the first time ever. Wait a minute, I lost a little Something's control. Gonna happen. Oh, Something's going to happen. Something's going to happen. Hey, I'll, I'll put the inspector by it. Look, uh, I'm bound to stop now. All right. Yeah, now, yeah. I see we're playing games now. Uh, uh, now, watch this. Now, I'm going to put a stop on the stop, right? Oh, Here we go, isn't yeah. oh, oh, it? Oh, You did that on purpose, didn't you? Knock the little inspector over like that. Yeah. Well, he gets five points for doing it. Yes. Is your headphones yes. doing that? Yes. I wasn't sure if it was like us or the video. I'm going to just keep power through. I just want to make sure it wasn't my headphones doing that sound. We do apologize for that. It's just the, the quality of the episode. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, fair's fair, Frankie. I've been dying to knock you over for years. <laughs> Lumsy clock. Here, let me have a go. It's mine. No, it's mine. I'm the bus driver. Well, come on, it's, it's my turn, isn't it? I drive the bus. It's mine. It's mine. Now then. Well, then it marvelous, eh? <laughs> I've got 50 buses out there. You're never showing the enthusiasm for driving one of them, do you? It doesn't matter. Now, come on, let me have a go. It's my turn. I decide what? who drives the bus. It's mine. It's my bus. Well, it's my desk, then. Take it off and get it out of it. Oh, blimey. How childish can you get? All right, you can have a go. Go on. <laughs> one minute. All right. Time Jack. Time All right. <laughs> oh, look at that here. Look at that, eh? Yeah. <laughs> nice touch here. I ain't lost the old touch, have I? <laughs> nice tight turn there, look. The Sterling Moss of the buses. Yes. Yeah. They're nice sensitive controls, aren't they? They are. They Do you are. know what? what? We could use these for instruction. <gasps> <gasps> oh, oh, yes. If you broke my bus, Blake. No. Listen, if you broke my bus, mate, I'll tell you about your bus. What? <gasps> oh, that's a teeth on the it's all your fault, Butler. What do you mean it's my fault? It's my bus. I told you not to drive it. Oh, look, look, it's too late to go and get another one like the old girl won't have a present. Nah, that's all right. That'll still work. Well, I can't give it to her like that, can I? What are you talking about? Of course you can. Tell her it's one of them modern ones. It hasn't got one eye, it's got five. Pour <laughs> out five cups of tea at the same time with that one. <laughs> I hate you, Butler. I hate you. Uh, get that rubbish out of it, come on. Right. Where's the box? Hello? Yes, Inspector Blake here, yes. Oh, no, no. Well, how bad is she, then? Got to stay in bed all day? Oh. Oh, it's all right. Well, it can't be up, yeah. Now, well, we'll manage it, yeah. What was all that about, then, Blake? Oh, it's that Edna Jones, a clip who's on Christmas duty tomorrow morning. She's yeah. got the flu. Oh, dear. <laughs> You're the next conductor on the Christmas road. <laughs> You've got to do it. <laughs> hey, just a minute. Has she got a doctor's system? Oh, yes, she has. No, I don't want none of these arguments. It's all been agreed with the union. You know it is. No, I'm impressed you being on duty Christmas morning. <laughs> Hard luck, Jack, mate. <laughs> do you know who's got his driver, don't you? No. Her old man, Charlie. <laughs> no, no, here, here, here. Here's the best bit of it. What? <laughs> Charlie's got to stay home <laughs> and look after her and the kids. Well, you're on. 
you won't go report here for eight o'clock no. tomorrow morning, mate. Not fair, you know. Made my Christmas, you said. <laughs> All right. So we're not going to stop it there, but just that one point right there. There's there's a flaw in that writing right there. Did you did you pick it up? So she had she was going to work on Christmas, and he was going to be the driver, right? But since she's sick, he has to stay home and take care of the kids. They were both going to work on Christmas anyway, so they would have had it set up to where someone's going to watch the kids. <laughs> That's so true. That is so true. Now, if it would have been like he has to stay home and take care of her because she's really sick, I can understand that. Yep. Anyways. Arthur! Arthur, come on, your breakfast spoiling! Arthur! Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Mum, mum, mum! <laughs> I know it's Christmas morning, but blimey, don't do that while I'm having me breakfast. Oh, sorry, love. Never mind. Look, it's eight o'clock. Who got me up at this ungodly hour? Well, Stan's got to go to work. I... Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas, Stan. Hope you have a nice day. I'm going back to bed. I'll be thinking of you. Oh, I'll join you as soon as I finish, now. <laughs> oh. Well, on second thoughts, perhaps I'll stay. <laughs> it's like Al Bundy. Oh, you don't have to be nasty on Christmas morning. What would you call me for? I was having a lovely kip. Well, we got to give the presents out, because Stan's got to go. Well, he could have waited. We always give the presents out at breakfast. It's a sort of Christmas tradition in the family. Yeah. Like the Pope's message in the Queen's speech. <laughs> oh, stay. Anyway, you let her wait until I come home lunchtime, because I've got to go to work now. Oh, I got up special. Can I have mine? Hey. Hey. Oh. Shall we? Yes, go on. All right. Oh. Well, you baby, you are. Yeah, she is a baby. She's never grown up. That's yeah. no trouble. Here we are. Yeah, kiss, kiss, love. Yeah. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas, darling. It's from Stan and me. Yeah. To you both. Oh, thank you. Just the one present for the two of us. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's very nice, I'm sure. Oh, look, Arthur. It's an electric blanket. Uh, very useful. Oh, it's just what we needed. Arthur's always saying how long it takes me to get warm in bed. <laughs> <laughs> it's a pity you didn't take one on your honeymoon. We didn't need one then, did we, Arthur? No, you brought your hot water bottle. <laughs> oh, you remember? Well, I'm hardly likely to forget that my singers it leaked the first night. <laughs> Hardly a night of romance, was it? Yeah. <laughs> Drenched her bed socks. Oh. oh, it's only a single bed size. Yes, love. We thought a single one would be better. Not only that, we didn't have enough green stamps for a double. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know, Arthur. We can lay it sideways across the middle of the bed and share it. Oh, don't be stupid. That means we'll both end up with hot bottoms and cold feet. <laughs> That's all right. And you can put your cold feet on your up bottom. <laughs> no. We can lay it across the foot of the bed and put our feet on it. Oh, don't talk wet. That'll melt your chill plane ointment. You'll end up with two fried feet. <laughs> no, Arthur, so don't crouchy. tease. There yeah. we are. There's He's the turkey. All ready now. No, all okay. I'm going to do is... All I can think of is she keeps sticking her hands inside the turkey and then all the things she's touching. She takes the napkin and like or the rag and wipes it all over the turkey and places it on the table. She's stuffing it and touching anything. Now with her hands, she's touching her glasses, touching oh, all the germs. And and here comes the comments. It's just a show, people. I know, I know, I know. But y'all know that at home you would not be doing that. No way, Jose. Tow him up. Come on here, love, give us a hand. I'm finishing my breakfast. Well, come on, I can't do it no, by myself. Right, it's a big right, bird. All right, all right, all come right. on, hold it up. Right, that's it. There we go. Now I'll get this done. Yeah, that reminds me, Arthur. How's your operation? <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you shut up? Oh, blimey, look at the time. I'll be late for work. Where's my shoes, Mum? Uh, butterfly, love. Right. Here, don't forget, we're having dinner at two o'clock. Don't be late, will you, love? Late? I've done finish at half past two. There's no buses running after then, you know. Oh. Then I have to walk home. I won't be up to gone four. What a shame. He'll have to have his cold. <laughs> cold Christmas dinner? We always eat together here now. We'll have to wait till he comes home. I can't have my dinner at four o'clock. 
No, but that's because you're still eating your breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> Nasty. Nasty. Well, I, for one, I'm not waiting till four o'clock for my turkey. I wanted a two. Your turkey? Stan paid his share. His contribution just about paid for the stuffing. Eh? <laughs> oh, I know. Arthur could come and collect you on his motorcycle. Hey, don't be so ridiculous. Oh, don't be so silly. I am not being silly. I don't see why I should have to suffer just because he's got to go to work. Why can't we have dinner without Stan? Oh, really well, turkey. because I say so and don't speak with your mouth full. She didn't speak with her mouth full. She never say a word. Oh, shut <laughs> up. Anyway, it's all settled. You go It is not up. settled. I've agreed to no yes, such thing. Oh, oh, never mind. What do you mind what you're doing with that needle? Oh. You should take your finger out. Oh, shut <laughs> up. Don't you speak to him like that. Well, it's always the same, isn't it? Well, he's not going to work. So don't oh, wait, Henry. Oh, oh, Henry, oh, bring it just up. Oh, 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 I'm not We're going to stop the first part right there. He said, oh, shut up. This guy is a piece of work. Now, if I can get it together correctly, they're the parents of her, right? And that's like their son-in-law living with them. Oh, no. I took it as the lady doing the turkey is the mom. Yeah. And then the son is the one going off to work. No, he said mom, but I think that's his wife. I think that's their kid. He does not look as old as the lady looks. Not him, the guy leaving. Yeah. Yes, he oh, did. Really? Oh, I did not think that. Anyways, was anyways. Um, so he just kissed his daughter on the lips? That's weird. Yeah. I knew a guy who, he was in a biker gang. His dad was in a biker gang. Oh, I remember. And he used he to kiss him on them. the lips. Him and him. I mean, every family is different. Anyways, I, I love how, like, this is how a real family is. The bickering yes, yes, and the, the, yeah. the back talking and the making fun of each other's their face or this or that. He totally reminds me of Al Bundy from Married with Children because he hates having any kind of intimacy with his wife. And that's like a running joke on there. But obviously this came before that. Um, but I don't know about you, but I used to grow up watching reruns of old shows all the time. My mom used to always watch TV, so I watched all different episodes. This kind of takes me back to that no we we stayed outside all the time growing up so we were pretty Sorry. much we were pretty much kicked out of the house don't come back to the street lights come on <laughs> so no we would watch like the morning cartoons and then we'd be gone all day doing who knows what and come home at night um so no this is weird but yes it does feel like a family this is but weird I'm, oh well, so old yeah but i'm just saying no i think the lady with the turkey is the mom i think the guy going to work is one of the sons and then either it's his brother or a sister, and they're all like, I don't know. At well, home they're definitely because, together. Yeah, but I'm saying that the guy who, who works at the train station, he's the brother of either the husband or the wife. I don't think that he's doubt. married to the lady. Let us know in the comment section. Prove that I'm correct. We're going to go ahead and check out the second part. It's going to be posted tomorrow. We're going to check it out right now. If you like a reaction to this one, or you want to leave a comment, please do so. But don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time. Goodbye.